I'm just about to start my workout for today. Let me show you what we're doing very quickly so that we can get right into it. This workout is going to take exactly 30 minutes. And I'm gonna start by showing you a little combo. I am using my dip bar, but don't worry, if you don't have a dip bar, you can still do this workout right along with me. I'm going to show you the combo using my dip bar first, and then I will show you an equipment-free alternative. So if you do have a dip bar like this one or something similar that you can use, like an old walker or another type of, um, of exercise equipment that's similar to this. I'm gonna start by kicking up and over one leg of my dip bar, so I'm just using this as a target. I'm starting on the inside of the dip bar and I'm gonna kick my foot out like this. And on the way down, I'm going to land in a reverse lunge. So if you can, tap that back knee to the ground if your range of motion allows you to do that. Um, if not, then you don't have to tap the knee all the way down. You can go down just a little bit. Um, regardless, just make sure that you're controlling the movement so you don't bang your knee on the ground. And then from here, I'm gonna kick this back foot up and um, touch the toes with the opposite hand like this. And then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. So now the other leg inside out, land in reverse lunge, kick the back foot up and touch the toes with the opposite hand. Now I'm gonna do a knee raise burpee. So I'm gonna come down, put my hands on the ground. I'm doing the push up in the middle of my dip bar just because I don't have a lot of space out here. But you can do your push up from here, whatever's more comfortable for you. So hands come down, kick the feet back into a plank position, do a push up. Jump the feet back in, grab onto the dip bar and do a knee raise. And now I'm gonna actually use my dip bar to do a dip. Um, so if you're strong enough to do unassisted dips, I don't even know if I can do one, then you'll have your feet up the whole time. Um, and just bending the elbows like that. I am strong enough to do one dip that might be the only unassisted dip I can do all day. So if you need to assist yourself, then you can tap your foot down like this. And then on the way up, you can use your leg to help you up. Just make an effort to use the leg as little as possible and try to really use those triceps, use your arms to get yourself up. Um, but that's the little combo, okay? So one more time, a little faster, so you see the flow. Kick over, reverse lunge, kick up. Repeat that on the other side. Knee raise burpee and dip. So um, if you have something similar to this, that is gonna be your combo. Um, let me show you an equipment free alternative in case you don't have anything like this that you can use. So grab an exercise mat or a towel if you have one. Um, if you're working out on a carpeted floor, you might not need that, but here's gonna be your equipment free modification. Um, for your combo. So you don't have a target to kick over. You're gonna kick over an imaginary target, but it's gonna be the same motion. You're gonna kick your leg up and over your imaginary target, come back and land in a reverse lunge. Take this back foot, kick it up, touch the toes. Repeat that on the other side. So kick up and over your imaginary target, reverse lunge, kick up. Come down, put the hands on your mat, um, jump your feet back, do a push up. If you cannot do a push-up from the toes, then you do your push-up from your knees. And then you can come down on your mat and do any type of ab exercise you want. So you can do a knee hug or a leg raise, um, any type of cardio exercise you want. Then you're gonna come up into a reverse bridge and you're gonna do um, crab toe touches, but you're gonna add a little dip. This dip, is much less uh, taxing than doing the dip on the dip bar. So we're just gonna add a little something extra, okay? So you're going to do a dip and then a crab to a touch and then repeat that on the other side. So bend the elbows, dipping the hips down, straighten the elbows, crab to a touch. Okay, so that's your equipment free combo. We'll do it one more time, a little faster so you can see the flow of it. So, Kick up and over, reverse lunge, kick up, over the target, reverse lunge, kick up, push up, 
knee hug, dip, crab toe touch, dip, crab toe touch. So that's the combo. There's just one other exercise. We're going to be doing ninja jump tucks. So um, I'm using my jump rope mat because it's nice and thick. A yoga mat might be sufficient, but you also might want to maybe put a towel or something under your yoga mat. I'm using this because it gives me some added protection for my knees. So if you have a thicker exercise mat, that would be ideal. But if not, grab a yoga mat, that's fine. Okay, so starting in this position on my mat, I'm going to jump from this kneeling position, I'm gonna jump from my knees to my feet in one motion. So here's how you do it. Um, from this position, I'm gonna rock my hips back so that my booty is like touching my heels. And now I'm gonna thrust the hips forward as I jump. This is to create momentum so that I can jump in one motion from my knees to my feet like this. Once you're in this position, you're going to do a jump tuck. So you're gonna jump up in the air and you're gonna tuck your knees to your chest like this. Get the knees up as high as you can. Okay, so one more time, a little quicker. Starting on the knees, rock the hips back, ninja jump, jump tuck. That's a ninja jump tuck. Um, easier modification, if that's too difficult for you or if you, if it's a little scary, it's scary to try that one for the first time if you've never tried it before. Um, so you can do the same thing, but assist yourself by putting your hands on the mat in front of you, okay? So you can start in this position. You can put your hands on the mat and then jump from here, jump your feet up to a squatted, a squat like this, a squatted position I was gonna say. Jump your feet forward so if you're in a squat and then if you're able to do a jump tuck, you can do your jump tuck from here, driving those knees up as high as you can or you can just jump up. If you can't jump, you can stand, so your modified ninja jump tuck, hands down, jump the feet, and do a jump tuck, or jump the feet, jump up. So that's it, that's all the exercises. Now here's the format. I have my timer set for two intervals. The first interval is one minute long. The second interval is four minutes long. So all that together is five minutes. Set your timer for one minute intervals, four minute intervals, and six rounds. So five minutes times six rounds is 30 minutes. So the workout's going to take 30 minutes. With each one minute interval, you're going to complete three ninja jump tucks. Okay, so you're gonna come down uh, and do your ninja jump tuck three times. With the remainder of that one minute interval, rest. Then as soon as your four minute interval starts, that's when you're gonna do your combo. You'll do as many sets of your combo as you can during that four minute interval. And then when the next one minute interval starts, you'll again come down and do three ninja jump tucks. And then again, with the remainder of that one minute, you can rest before you start the next round of your combo, okay? So we're gonna do three ninja jump tucks and then four minutes of the combo six times. All right, so if you have a dip bar or something similar, go ahead and grab that. Grab your exercise mat or a yoga mat um, or a towel if you need one. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up and when you're ready, let's go. All right, so my watch is going. This is our one minute, there's no rest interval. This is our first one minute interval to do three ninja jump tucks. So coming down on the mat. Okay, so that took me 20 seconds. Now I have 40 seconds to move my mat out of the way, get my dip bar set up for the combo, and I have another 20 seconds to rest. For the first round, it's ample time to rest, but once we get to the sixth round, um, we'll be cutting in a little closer. <laughs> But I do like to have a little time to rest in between. So, so five seconds, we'll be starting our combo. Three, two, one, and go.
Make it. I'm trying to skip my dip because it's too hard. No dip skipping. All right, we're halfway through our first work interval. Our first work interval for the combo. I think. our first four minute segment. There's no rest interval. So our one minute interval to do three ninja jump tucks has already begun. So let's get these done as quickly as we can so we have the rest of the time to rest. rest. So you see how now that we're into it, we're going to be having to really push to fit in just those three reps of ninja jump tucks during the one minute interval because We're losing time off of that interval. Or at least I am. I could go a little faster if I wasn't making a video because I wouldn't have to stay right in this exact area. my mat over there and just walk over to it. it would save me a few seconds from having to move everything around but even if I was doing it like that I would still be losing time off of that working pool. Even though it's only three reps, they're going to happen slower and slower with each passing round. So, it should still be ample time to complete your three reps. And if it's 
it's not, you can switch to the modified version. It'll help you move a little faster so that you have time to complete all three reps before that one minute interval is up. playlist of five-minute workouts 
And the other really important thing is that when you have absolutely no time, you can find five minutes. You can do one of those five minute workouts. And it keeps you in the habit of doing a workout every day. I have no idea how true this is, but I always hear that it takes 30 days to build a habit. But it takes much less time to break a habit. So on the days when you just have no time at all, if you just pick one of those five minute workouts, it's gonna help you stay in the habit. Let's try to do two more rounds. It'll help you stay in your habit of working out every day, which I think is even more valuable than whatever calories you're gonna burn or whatever strength you're gonna build in that five minutes because you're getting the benefit of sticking with your workout routine. You're getting the benefits of all those future workouts that you might have missed if you didn't do your workout on a day that you didn't have time and you broke your habit of working out every day. Okay, three ninja jump tucks. Okay, we're halfway done. We've completed three rounds. We have three to go, starting in 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Second half. choose to do this workout with me for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's totally up to you.
Two minutes left, so we're halfway through this round. Let's try to do another four sets. So I'm definitely slowing down. But I know I still have enough strength to fit in another four sets before the time reviews if I focus and if I push myself. One. Starting to really rely more on that foot to assist me during the dips, but it's okay. It's there to assist you if you need it. Just use it as little as possible. Let's two. Let's do two more.
my governors come on Wednesday, but they get here later in the morning. So I'm usually able to finish recording my workout before they get here and not have to do it the ways. Gardeners come here. They like cut the grass and bounce pretty much. They're good for like 15 minutes. So even if they do come on making the video, it's much less of a disturbance. But they come earlier in the day and they spend a lot longer so if I want to avoid them I need to wait and do my workout later in the day and it's very hot today I do one more Be like 95 degrees or so. We're not there yet. It's still early enough in the day that we're not in the 90s yet, but we're getting there. I can feel it getting hotter and hotter with each round. But okay, so again, I'm going into my one minute interval just to even up. The point is that I didn't want to wait until late in the day to do my workout because I like getting it out of the way sooner rather than later anyway, but especially in the heat. <laughs> exercise because it's just more comfortable on my knees and I'll tell you that after I'm done with this I'm gonna, going to do an additional 30 minutes of moderate pace cardio with my jump rope, I might change into shorts before I do that. I'm very tempted to pause, take a little rest break. Breathe for a few seconds. Try to catch my breath a little. Let my heart rate come down a little. And regain some strength. Obviously, if you need to do that, do it. Doing 
these workouts is to get stronger, take care of your health. The purpose is not to kill yourself, not to just work till you drop. So if you need to rest for a few seconds, then by all means do it. Just keep the rest break as short as you can. And as soon as you're ready, go ahead and get back into it. Like I said, I'm tempted because we're 29 minutes into the workout. I'll try to skip my dip again. And I'm super fatigued. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish two more sets, but since it's our last round, I'm gonna do them even if I don't quite finish them in the allotted time. But these are gonna be my last two sets, regardless. So yeah, since it's our final 20 seconds of the workout, as much as I would love to stop and take a break, I can keep going. So, since I managed to get through all of the previous uh, four minute intervals without taking a rest break, I just wanted to um, keep pushing and get through this final one without taking a rest break. And I did it. Yay. Let's wait for the plane. All right, so that's our 30 minutes. We just have one rep left to go. If you follow my workouts regularly, you know that we're no workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left. Let's do our bonus burpee together right now. And then the workout will be officially complete. So we've done our 30 minute workout. We closed our exercise ring. We've done our bonus burpee. So the workout is officially complete for the day. However, I have my jump rope here. I'm going to reset my timer for 10 second rest intervals, 20 second work intervals times 60 rounds, which is 30 minutes. I'm going to put on some music, so I will not be sharing my additional cardio with you, but I am going to do an additional 30 minutes of cardio. That is completely optional. It is not part of the workout, but um, it's never a bad idea after the workout if you want to add on an, an, uh, an additional 20, 30, 40 minutes of um, moderate paced cardio. So if you want to do what I'm doing, grab your jump rope, set your timer for 10 second rest intervals, 20 second work intervals, and 60 rounds. Get some music going and uh, get your 30 minutes of moderate paced cardio in with your jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope or you can't jump rope where you are, you can go for a jog um, or a hike. You can hop on the exercise bike if you have one. You can hop on a real bike if you have one and go for a bike ride. You can hop on your treadmill if you have one. Um, any type of cardio exercise that you wanna do is fine. Again, it's completely optional. I'm just sharing because that's what I'm gonna do right now. But um, I think I'm too lazy to change into shorts. I think I'm just going to sweat through it for the next 30 minutes. That's going to do it for today. So if you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Um, as always, if anything is unclear with the format, with any of the specific exercises that we are doing today, if you need any further help with modifications or substitutions, please just ask. I am always more than happy to help in any way I can to help to make the workouts accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them. So please never hesitate to ask if you have questions. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately, subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching the videos and sharing them and commenting on them. And especially to those of you who have been commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I say goodbye, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, and boom goes the dynamite. So 
If you are still watching this video, please let me know you're still watching the video by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, and boom goes the dynamite. That is it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.